Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic Live. Welcome to Tonic Live with me, Owen. Me, Alison. And me, Daniel. Hey, what is Tonic Live? Tonic Live are live paper craft tutorials with Alison from Tonic HQ and me and Dan. We, we We're here as well. That. Yeah. We're here as well and we answer your comments. So general tonic questions because Ali be focused on the Dan's craft. Dan's the techie and you were the mm -hmm. chump, sir. That's, That's what it is. It's the dynamic. And the chatty. Yeah. <laughs> the chatty techies. Exactly. so yeah uh, this is the show uh, welcome along as always you can comment join in someone will get the tease in now mm -hmm. um anytime we nearly forgot monday didn't we, we Dan? Did, yeah i thought i saw sharon do this sharon she did, did this she week. was yeah. ever so good i popped in great show yeah people thank you wonderful from manchester oh, what you were saying on the daily this morning no <laughs> I was, I, no I, it's a comment a compliment to both of you i thought you did well it's just he missed the daily like I didn't miss a day. Oh, right. On, the, on a Monday. I made them. In the end. Quite late. Yeah. Oh. There you go then. Missed that one. Just went over my just head. Just so no next time. Uh, bye. No, no, we're not argue. We don't argue. We next never time I'll just argue. check your facts, yeah, before you come and challenge um, me about it. Good. <laughs> Marie says, uh, uh, oh, Mary, sorry. Uh, good day. Uh, can you tell I've been watching the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, I've been <laughs> watching the Commonwealth Games. Have you been watching any? No. I've watched a little bit. I've seen it in the mornings when they. In they interview some of the winners and things. I have seen that. I've been. It's good to see, like, the, it's nice to have a Welsh mm. contingent there, like, and, and see. But I think as long as both of us are in the finals, you know, English, Welsh, Scottish, you know, Irish, then we're okay. Exactly. I, I think I, it's I, fine. I saw an unusual, like, you know, rivalry match between um, Wales v England and badminton, which is uh, not sorry about squash. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Wait, it's quite gets quite feisty. It's, yeah, it's squash mad, it does, that, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I hadn't seen it like that before. They're all kind of looking at the, co the coach. It's a, it's a weird, like, like viewing sport, I guess. Because basically, just like one wall is made of glass. Yeah. Or like you know, pe plexiglass or whatever. And then, um, yeah, just everyone's just looking through that one bit there, which is you know. Yeah, weird. I, I watched the bowls. They had Wales, yeah, um, yeah. England bowls as well. We got quite a good band. We are. We got a good history of for Wales. Really? Yeah, quite good. I think. I think we won the gold. Uh, I, I believe. But yeah, loads. Well, I think. I know Sean has been watching it too. Sue, well done for getting the cookies and the. And the Thank you, in. Sue. Um. So yeah, Ali, tell us what we're going to be doing today. Well, what we're going to be doing today is this little bag, mm -hmm. and this is your craft kit nine. So I thought I would use some different products in this one. To the ones I used on Monday. So this was the bag we made Monday and I thought I would do it a little bit different. Is that what we did? When we launched it last Friday and we took, you know, we the kit was released, we unboxed it. Monday then we showed you a basic move, just showing you the, the construction of it as soon as we could. So loads of you have purchased the kit already, so yeah. you're well done, that's secured, you know, you've got that. If you're a subscriber, you don't need to do anything, you've got that, uh, it's in the in there for you. Um, yeah, but if you're looking forward to, it, you're interested in this, visit tonicraftkit.co.uk, and you get you know the tools to make this, these bags here, and loads and loads, loads more. So, um, yeah, all these bits on the table today, and other little bits as well come in. We'll show you plenty to see. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely gorgeous kit. And I know on Monday we asked you which colours you wanted us to use, and we went with the red and the cream and a little bit of gold. So I thought I would concentrate more on the golds and creams today. I've made three kits out, three bags out of this kit, and this is what I've still got left over. So as you can see, there is plenty in the kit. I, the only thing I've used extra is a sheet of cream card, but everything else has come from the kit. So I haven't done too badly there. Tell me what. So there's room for another bag there. Awesome. Uh, Sue says, Michael, I just scoped dice came this afternoon and I'm currently oh, wow. making a tall oblong box. <gasps> mm. That's a lot of making there. Oblong. If you're doing any paper piecing and things, it's a very good. It's very a pretty, good for pretty it. box. Sharon, thank you for the teas. There's loads of they're, they're just going off the side of the table, these teas. Oh, wow. <laughs> Spilling everywhere. <laughs> wow. Too many of them. But it's all right. It's fine. I don't, okay. I don't mind that, that's fine. That's all right. Just don't go on the card, we just keep that. Well, exactly, exactly. So, what have we got? If you haven't seen the kit already, I don't know whether any of you have missed out so far, 
So you've got all the papers I've shown you here. You've got a sheet of Craft Perfect Cream. You've also got a sheet of the Pearlescent Red. Um, I think that may be all of it. And obviously all these are going to be full sheets when you get them. So nice, lovely colour selection this time. Yeah, you can find out exactly what's in the kit, toniccraftkit.co.uk or tonic-studios.com for the US website and search Tonic Craft Kit and you can find everything, you know, the codes, everything. So if you do want to order more after you've got it, you can do and, and you can uh, you find the bits you want. Excellent. So what have I cut so far? I have cut, I Just said I would do things sorry. a little bit. One small thing, I tried to be clever doing it live and then I think I might have broken something. So small uh, end slide just to uh, fix this for you and then we'll be back in about 10 seconds. See you seconds. in 10 seconds. Once you log. Eight, nine, <laughs> ten. See, just ten seconds. That's all we were. Good to be back, everyone. Um, yeah, the the Dan was trying to fix the cameras a little bit, and I broke everything, as in classic style. <laughs> Dan style. Just style. Like, I think they were saying just like he did in a chanda. Yeah, I don't know. That's what, that is what happened as well. Oh, it was all right though. It, you know, up up there. What I know, a lot of people saying, you know, conspiracy theories sinking down, broke the computers up in a chanda. I can neither confirm or deny. No. Yeah. <laughs> he was just, well, I was just telling Alison about what I did, and it was just like, he said, I tried to fix things, and then as as per. He said, Oh, oh do, you, do you mind if I just have a little go on the computer? And they're like, Oh, yeah, don't worry, but just don't press. And then he. And then I pressed it. And he goes, oh, Whoops! And then he tipped Whoa. his milkshake all over the. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I, went, I like bent down to like pick me. up my glasses that fell off. <laughs> And then, like, <laughs> as, I just, as I did that, my pens fell out of my pocket protector. And then and it was just, oh, no. And his glasses broke. And, he had to, and then um, he self-destructed the whole of the chanda. Yeah. Never mind. There we go. But, yeah, oh, where, where, where were we, yeah? Oh. We were just talking about our little bag that we're going to make. Yeah. So I haven't gone any further. So you can see exactly where I am from start to finish. So I've used the main die which is a beautiful little die and it gives you a nice size bag as well. We measured the bag on Monday and I've forgotten the size in it. So the kind of the area that you're gonna make something with, you know, that you're gonna put stuff in. Um, that is roughly 
just over four inches by what we got there those about three and a half, uh, two and a half I would say but to the top of the bag is six inches so it's a nice size bag I mean as as some of you know I make um, little projects for Marie Curie so I'm definitely going to be using these to make some money for charity the Kim says I like the handle on the bag I like that it's lovely it's isn't lo it yeah it is lovely it's Quite a nice sturdy handle so let's make a start so there's my two bags we're going to put those to one side for a minute. I've got some, I've used the layering die. So we've got this one here. So I've used this to cut a cream layer. I've also cut a panel for the back of my bag. And this is the textured card. When I'm cutting this card, I just cut a piece of card the size that I'm going to use because the more times you put the texture card through the, the die cutting machine, it will flatten slightly. So just use the exact amount of card that you're gonna need. Then I use the, the outer edge again, and then I cut the pattern into it. So what I'm gonna do with this, I am going to paper piece it. So I've got a little piece of cream here that I'm gonna glue this to and then I'm going to paper piece it. Uh, Michelle asking, I want to Dan, last month in monthly order, will this month come out of my account automatically? Michelle, if you ordered the monthly subscription last month, then you don't need to do anything else from that point on. It should just automatically take month upon month. If you ordered a quarterly, you'll get three months included, then it'll take another quarterly payment then. Um, and that's, yeah, any more you know, specifics on that, just ask in the comments and, and I'll do my best to answer. Dan will and uh, yeah that's pretty much it or uh, drop us an email at support at tonic hyphen studio hyphen studios dot com there we go um, yeah so, so all that for you uh, Michael asks he's, bit, he's asking the, the good questions here he's saying when you go on holiday do you take your tonic dyes machine with you if you do what dyes would you take I don't think <gasps> it gets some customs would it the time no I don't <laughs> think it would it's a bit of metal isn't it um, when I go on holiday I have been known to take some stamps and pens with me because you can sit by, you know, if you're in a bar, yeah. you can just get your pens out. You know, I've created a little bit of a, an audience on occasions. What am I doing? Oh, awesome. Or I like to take something completely different and I'll take a bit of knitting or crocheting with me because it's something you can just throw in your bag and it's easy and it's not heavy or anything. Um. D David says, if you have a subscription, the magic troll steals your money automatically. It's, it's rude <laughs> to call Dan a troll there, David. <laughs> <laughs> it was an easy <laughs> So I'm going to paper piece the flower oh, wow. with the beautiful glitter card. Knock my other self confidence down for oh, another week. Oh, come on. We just did it. He knew that he, said, he just set it up. Like, he would say the same to me. <laughs> Should have gone with someone else, really. Yeah. Anyone would have been applicable there. That would have been. Uh, <laughs> uh, afternoon, Lou. Um, Michelle, okay, thanks. Um, looking forward to your bag die arriving. Sandra, my youngest daughter, will love that. Oh, I uh, bet she well. will. Right, so I'm just going to lift that gently. Uh, just where you don't want to happen, but never mind. <laughs> So I'm going to use our precision glue pen. So you should have had, if you've had the kits from the beginning, then you will have had one of these in your kit. And I'm just having a little look at the die cuts I've got there. Uh, David, I didn't mean Dan, I meant the accountant. Yeah. That's that <laughs> really. They don't watch this. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> they just watch the money. That's all, yeah. they, exactly. that's all they're interested in. Um, We're interested in the craft. That's it. That's yeah. Interesting the craft and you guys and what you're up to and exactly. It's easier to keep it that way. Um, if you uh, if you were to skip a month, does your money still get taken, Dan? Hmm? If what? you just skip a month. No, 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 nope. No, your money doesn't get taken. If you um, if you decided you didn't want a particular kit for whatever reason, uh, you can go into the back end of your account and uh, skip a particular month if you fancy to do so, uh, and then you'll just basically not receive that kit and will be charged for that kit. Then. There we are, that's not bad. 
So I'm just. Still, just, I'm just hang on. I'm just gonna wipe the tears away as you're reading that <laughs> from the script. I just pop it in. He's I can't read the comments. The tears are on the screen, just oh, drifting away. Oh, damn! Is that IP so. IP sixty or whatever? Hope so. What are we gonna do with him? <laughs> That's all I need. That's all I need now. The phone broken as well. Oh, bless him! Look okay. what you've done to him. Come on, don't you know, paint me like that. That's a troll without a phone. What a <laughs> sad picture that would be. <laughs> Oh, and how was he going to drive home in that state tonight? I wish I had windscreen wipers for my eyes. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, uh, right. uh, <laughs> you still crying? Oh, yeah, I'm still crying. I'm crying now. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, and I'm still paper piecing. Yeah, yeah. paper piecing. So I'm just <laughs> popping in these little bits. And as you can see, it doesn't take that long. That's why I love these pens because they make it so quick. They are really good. They're good for yeah. If you if you're doing it, a bit of paper piece is perfect. That kind of nib. Exactly. Yeah, it's just like a bio, bio sort of pen. Yeah. It feels like that's what it, it feels like. Uh, and if you want a little bit more glue to come out, just give it a little bit of a squeeze. Um, Christine says, uh, "What's going on? It's taking me ten minutes." Uh, to get on here with you a lot. Uh, Christine, uh, we're showing off a bit of a more detailed uh, version of the bag that's coming in the Tonic Craft Kit uh, number nine. So we're just going through that. If you did catch Ali and Dan's basic make on Monday, um, we showed the, that's the first basic bag make. there. So this one here, and this is today's one. So it's like almost like a reverse of the colors um, ish. And it's just, yeah, nice cream and gold. We sort of focused on those colors. It's a little bit more detailed on today's. Um, why is Owen crying? What have we done to him, Ali and Dan? <laughs> me? It's, it's, what, it's what Owen's done to me. <laughs> uh, love I the way can't, Ali... have, can't have you making my boys cry. Love, 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 the, uh, love the way Alison carries on regardless. <laughs> yeah. I blame da David, was it? Like, that's why I knew what David meant. Like, he wasn't. I blame he didn't David. mean that, though, did he? <laughs> he did. <laughs> David meant that. You can't put words in his mouth. <laughs> Oh, uh, so Sue says, "Oh, Dan, come and cry on Mama Sue's shoulder." <laughs> oh, Sue! <laughs> oh, bless you. Um, but then someone, I think, said, "Dan, just pull it together." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pull yourself together, Dan says Sue. <laughs> Difference like you have all aspects of of mother and dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, come on, snap it, snap out of it. Snap out of it. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> big cutches. Have yeah. a big cut. We have big cutches, yeah. <laughs> There we are. So there's all my one more bit of gold and I'm done. i got to find that bit. That looks about right. So, and, uh, and with that, you know, with the um, the sort of the, the section of this on the bag, because it isn't so much, there's not too much paper piece into it. There's not. So I mean, that hasn't taken me that long. Like, you're not committing yourself to oh, heck a big, heck. Fu you know, big full scene. No. Like, and you can, that's what we'd love to show paper piece more on here. But because of the time it takes sometimes, Sometimes I start them ready, don't I, when I've done them. Whoops, can't pick that up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of burgundy in as well now. And I don't know what this would look like as. A vase? Yes, it would. It Do it would. as a vase? Well, you could chop the top off and it would be a little vase then, yeah, wouldn't it? Yeah, lovely. Or you could cut four of them, put some little brackets. Or like a gnome or like a, a troll's hat. Think. If you want a troll's hat, you have a troll. Oops, have a troll's hat. Oh, really? Pretty. Oh, the, the card is lush again, isn't it? Oh, I love the colours in this month's kit. Absolutely love them. Gold, the gold's brilliant. You see, you get. Okay. I mean, what I would say to you really is, if you're going to paper piece, do two together, but do the opposite colours. So you're not wasting, because I've wasted a lot of bits of gold here. But if you're going to do the two opposite colours at the same time, then, you, you know, you're going to be making two together. Actually, I've got a bit of gold on here that I could have done with. With this card paper piece, it almost looks embossed. Because of the, just it the does. Gold. It does. It's beautiful. Um, I guess so we'll have that bit of gold, even though I forgot it. 
Reminds me of a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, you could do a kind of a tropical Hawaiian. The Hawaiian shirt. colours would be absolutely stunning mm. in this. Oops. Yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah, I think uh, Catherine's going to be meeting Paula. Uh, be meeting Paula, here. sorry. Uh, and Kim and David, because Paul is going over. That's two weeks to be there. Uh, it's awesome. I'd love Tonic Live making connections. Helping. Helping people. people meet communities people. and stuff. Yeah, awesome. We'll be Team Tonic, Kim. Do us a live, a full dive step. Oh, and we'll watch. We'll yeah, be yeah. on the thing. We'll do, a, we'll do a live reaction to your lives. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Oh, the that'd live be in fantastic. Lives. Live in lives. Aloha, says Christine. Aloha. <laughs> oh, Paula. I'm I can't. Paula and Paula, they just. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much to switch back and forth. Um, what are we talking? Kim, team Kim, Team Tonic, Kim, Catherine, and and the lovely David as well. So Paula, there we go. Yeah, well, you'll have you'll have an awesome time. Make a video of you crapping together. Yeah, do it definitely. Where you where you all going? We're gonna see the site. So you're gonna see what you're gonna go and do. I'm I'm assuming craft is. Obvious, it's that's obviously a basic. Got high on the agenda. Um, it's got to. Right, I'm just looking at the bits I need you. Some of my bits have come out to my die, and I'm not really sure where I'm going with them. But I'll put in what I can find. Just wing it, in it, yeah. Same do. And we wing it from there. It. Oops. Bearing in mind, you're going to have a lot more time at home than I've got you. Oh, I don't think I need that bit. So you're asking when the one-off will be available. Um, the one-off will become available if, um, so when we know that the numbers for next month don't, or how much we need to order, um, then we'll become available. So at some point during the month, we yeah. we have to put the numbers upstairs to how many we're going to need for the for the, the next of the month. Then it's any like of the remainders we can make available as one-off. So it's kind of like halfway to three quarters of the way 20th through. 20th-ish, that's yeah. that sort of time when, we, when we've done it. That's if, when if, we have to put in the order. If there's any left then as well, basically. Yeah, if there's any left after the subscribers then, then we just, one off's available because it doesn't you know it doesn't affect the numbers too much on for the next month. But if you are interested in purchasing the kit, um, the monthly subscription is a better deal anyway uh, because you can cancel straight afterwards if you don't want it to happen every month, uh, but you save two pound postage in as well. Yeah. So, I mean, that's... We, if you want to, if you if you do want the kit this month, but you don't want it in any any other month, you do want the best deal, don't you? You do want the best deal, right? <laughs> uh, but you can just cancel it pretty much straight afterwards if you don't want to watch, if you don't want to keep receiving it, um, and then you save yourself two pound on postage. Then, so. um, Kim says we need a badge to recognise other tonic holics. Yeah. Is he tapping my nose again? You can't, you can't tap make, the nose now. I can just see I'm you making it a thing now. I'm making it a thing so they know when something like that is happening. It's not happening though. Right, what have I got here now? I'm trying to decide. <laughs> which that thing on your desk is not happening, is it? <laughs> is he being naughty again? He is, yeah. You heard that tap my nose, didn't you? You heard the tap of the nose. That's you normally thought it was a crack on your nose. You, Secrets are given you, away. You know what that means. There we are. So there's a bit of paper piece in. Now I can get rid of these now. Oh, I tell her what I need to do when I get rid of all this. What do you do with your paper bits, people? Do you just chuck them on the floor? Or are you put them nicely? Do you keep them for the next time? Do you keep them for the next? Like those little bits there after, paper, after that. Do you, are you just like well, I think you should just do two together. And then you'd use the purple flower with the gold bits on one mm -hmm. and the gold flower with not purple, burgundy, burgundy bits on the other. So therefore you're not wasting anything at all. That's my yeah, yeah. That's, that's my feeling. Make because you don't want to waste anything with this kit. So let's put the top on that. Interesting suggestion, Paula. It's a single nut a single knot for that one. So I'm going to glue this onto the front of the bag. I can't tap the nose, Kim, for two weeks' time. I'm sorry. You don't get. I'll, the amount of taps is probably how far they are off. There we are. We're looking at Christmas by the time we go over there. Yeah. There's a certain amount of taps. People will watch back and see how many taps are yeah. probably likely to be. That wasn't a tap. Your nose, was is, uh, nose. Your nose is going to be. It's going to knock off. It's going to be crooked. 
Right. How, how many knocks are, is Let's the badge? Like, um, you have to watch back. Oh, I did the it. knocks. So I'm going to use. We'll have a little look now and see which mousse you prefer. So we've got two mousses. One is coral calypso. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my on my day, um, my work mat here. And the other one is burnished red. So again, they beautiful colours. If you've never used the mousses, then give it a go. And you can see how much I'm putting on the mat. They're tiny amounts because I'm only going to need a little bit. So, see which one you prefer. I can't even see that as well. So there we've got the burnished red. I'll give that a wipe so I could have done them to mix. And here, this one is a little bit more supple by the side. Which colour would you prefer? I don't even know I'm whether sure you can see the coral on there. Should we go with the oh, red? You might catch it. Yeah, I think the, the I think red. the red. Yeah, the coral is a, it's a like little bit pale. There we are. We'll have a little bit more. There we are. Your crease that is not always the thing to use, but it's better than putting your finger into the pot. Yeah. Mary said, I def definitely buy a tonic apron, but sadly not for crafting. I'm of an age now where I seem to spill my dinner down me at some point. <laughs> <laughs> a tonic bib. I tonic think bib. I, can yeah. that as well. I think I'm, I'm at that age too. Yeah. So if you press very, very lightly over the top, I think this brings up the pattern on these papers really nice. And it's so creamy, this texture. Nearly done. As you can, As you can see where where I've popped the colour, and it gives another something different to your papers this time. You can bring another colour into it. You can just cut off a little section and test it and see what exactly. you exactly and see what you want. You've got and little scraps. Go. There we go. So you can show that while I carry on you. But go very, very lightly. I've been a little bit heavy handed in bits. You've got to get a spider cam back. It's been out of action for ages, isn't it? Not you can do it. I don't always say that we didn't need it or want or have that much. We should have a team meeting. Again. We should have a team meeting. We should team have one right now. Team meeting spider cam, is that? it. They're the team. They, your viewers are just as much part of the team. We'll get the spider cam back. Get it back. Yes, it's easier because I can reach spider cam. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. There's my team input. <laughs> <laughs> it was easier. There we are. So there's our our little bit of mousse. Let's wipe up what we got left. You can paint with this. So what you could do is um, you could paint your your little flowers. Give it another wipe now. Like, you know, try these things out. You know, we've only just touched the surface of, of oh, what, heck what you can, yes. you know, what but you can I do. But I try and do things that everybody can have a go at because that's what I want you all to use the products and I want you all to try. So let's get this out, a little bit of glue. If you do find something that the mousse is exceptional for that we haven't tried, because we can only, you know, within the realms of our imagination, try what we, we can in a day. If you find something or a technique which works and you think, wow, gotta tell them about that, put it on the group, show us. Oh gosh, yes. I mean I don't tend to do a lot with um with paint products, but um whatever comes into my head I'll have a go with. You can put them in a spritzer bottle, you can paint with them. Uh what else have we done with them? Um, I think we tried to do like 40 uses of mousses, didn't we, or something like we that. We did, and I, like you know, nothing's come into my head at the moment. We had a list of them. It was like, you can do like smooshing, you can do... Yes, I did that, didn't I? I used a baby wipe, yeah. picked it up with a baby wipe, and you get a very subtle effect then. I kind of... Um, 
accent sponges sort of sponging yeah and sponge the edges water them down um to, like, i can't think of anything is there any way the to top? like so because you know often, often you water down these products mm. do we just thicken them sometimes is that like a do you know say if you were to yeah. like, go the opposite way if you wanted a more even a more textured that's what our glimmer paste kind of does does that a little bit as, as to i've not done it but it's something i could give it a try like fit, put, mix it with something, something else to give it a yeah. thicker texture mm, i'll have a go now mm. Mm. there we go you can put them through your stencils that's something else you can do <laughs> good comments on you oh there you go um paula just goes because obviously this one stuff when they meet is gone uh shall we get some tahitis printed I have, <laughs> I have, I'm so crafty. I work like it's just one another. So just saying, we got some Tahiti's printed, and then Paula's like Tahiti's t-shirts, like she she made. <laughs> and, and then and then David's like, if you want to paint your Tahiti's, Paula, it's up to you. <laughs> There's a strange Ooh. little dye in the bag, and you may went in in the gift bag thing, and you may went to what it's for. It's just like a little line. And this is to put your little slit in the bag to put your clasp into. So this time I'm going to put it on the back of the bag because the front is so decorative. So I'm leaving, oh gosh, maybe half a centimetre from the line of the clasp. And then just running that through my machine. Um, could you do some kids craft kits? But we've talked about it before. Um, maybe if we had look we have done kids scissors in the past and things like that so yeah i'm, I'm not sure on that one like you asked the good questions michael to be honest you, you asked the stuff that, that <laughs> we've often talked about before and things like that if it was something ever a possibility that we could do um we focus so much on these getting them ready for monthly we do capacity them. probably isn't there we at the do. moment but um yeah if it's something you know as we expand yeah. it's always something we, we look at leave your mousse dry before you run it through the machine so there's your little slit Hopefully, if you can see it on the back there. And that's where your tab will go into. Right, so let's put our bag together. So I've put some tape on first. And it makes life a little bit easier. And a little bit quicker. So the way I'm looking, I'll tell you what I'm going to do first, is fold all my lines. And the bag I'm making today, I'm going to cut off this tiny little tab on both sides. You can leave one of them in place and then you have a bag that the bottom will fold into. But I want to glue it all today. So I'm going to chop the two tabs off. There uh, we go. Um, the, so Cheryl, because I think David's saying, oh, like, when I smile, when I read the comments, like... Because you can tell, like, <laughs> something's coming. Um, but then they go, um, but Chelsea says, I'd love to have a day in, in a white head. Or, what, like, by here, mm. I Oh, you like, don't. You don't want a day in old head. <laughs> so at all. The rest of the stuff is like, would be admin and quite like one plus the one. This is your two. enjoyable bit. Yeah. I, I, we could, well, we, I could stick a GoPro on, right, for the day and wear a GoPro during live. We, and you could see what I see during live then. Yeah. We talked about That's doing right. like a vlog of a day in tonic and stuff like that, but. I'm pretty sure Michael asked something like that. <laughs> I think yeah. he was like, oh, we'd like to see from the, the, the journey of a die, you know, from, from design yeah, to completion. We, again, we talked about that as well. They're so busy up there that when yeah. we and Dan come up there, it's like, here's like, the if, if you can imagine, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> if you can imagine that, like, you know, we're two children with, like, endless amount of energy to do some random stuff where, like, nothing really matters down here. Just, like, running around going, like, oh, let's take a picture of this. Yeah. And then, like, go upstairs. And then, like, it's, like, Mark and, and Will and the rest of the design team, like, working hard to get stuff done by deadlines and stuff. And yeah. they're like, hey, let's have this. Sending them off to the factory. <laughs> and you're not like, impressed. Yeah. No. <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure we can get them to do it. Um, so they, they do watch the shows and stuff. But, like, yeah. I think they watch have it in the background when they're, like, design in the next yeah. the next stuff that you that you're gonna love do you know like uh, on the horizon i can't i don't know what i can see now but can you see anything on the horizon i can see loads on the horizon <laughs> there's lots in there really good because i get a chance to play with them <laughs> so we've glued the one side and now we glue in the other side so start at the base and you're lining up all the lines at the base so there's my line and I'm going to go round to the top 
no my line's not straight because I'm looking at the wrong bit there's the line there that I want to get straight so fold it in and line it up there so if you can see it's all straight there go to the top pop that in place and then as you go down just press it in place and there's your bag all together so I only want one of these tabs <coughs> you could use it as a closure in the center but I only want one so I want the one that's on the front so I'm going to chop the one off that's on the back hi Maureen she says Maureen's here Maureen Gillen hey Maureen welcome board um, how are you all loving these boxes it's Julie uh, box can't wait for the kit yeah uh, end of the month you'll be getting it um, I could do the smaller scissor here but never mind Tracy, when will the next oh, mag be available? We've had the, there we are. the designs in, haven't we? With the, we have. The, not the long. samples, not very not long at long. all. <laughs> so seal in the bottom of the box. I like to keep everything neat and tidy and hidden away. So fold in your first flat base, then your two side flaps. This is just my preference. And then the flat base again and then you've got a neat edge on the inside and you've got a neat edge on the outside of your box then there we are so that's all done so I'm just going to press inside with my bone folder just to make sure everything is nice and straight so your little tab on the top that will fold it's got two, a li two little folds in there and then that fits into the back. So just run your, your pokey tool along the back. And I had trouble putting this together on Monday. Uh, we will go. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know, obviously on the, I'm hoping on Monday show, you know, on the business scene, but you'll show how quick it is to put together, you know, well, exactly. how, how easy it is. Like we've, obviously you know create the the flourishes and the bits extra to it but you this is another bag that you can put together really quickly add it to the other bags we have mckenzie in turn the chelsea king's cross case mm -hmm. you've had so this is like a hill and dun hill and dun this is you know, limited edition so you know one off so there's your your clasp and then i've done the same then with the decorative panels for the sides you've also got two funny little shape dies on here and it's those two there so if you can see on there it's these two here I'll show you exactly where they fit now because I looked at it today and thought now where do they go and I sussed it out so let's just pop these pretty little panels on my hands are stinking so whatever <laughs> I got moose everywhere because the moose hasn't dried. Everything you've touched now is Everything moose. I touch has yeah, got moose on there. Um, Pamela, is anyone manning the support email? I sent a message earlier and not had a response, which is unheard of. Um, if we're a little bit light on there at the moment on the support, but we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. well, me and Dan will be on it tomorrow as well. I know Karen's been looking after it, and but she's not here. Between, if you measure between three and five, you, you're less likely to get a response. But um, yeah, it's just because of the anniversary and all the emails and stuff we've had, we're just a little bit behind, but we'll catch up and we'll we'll be in touch with you tomorrow. Um, no question, Pamela. Um, can we have some verse dies, please? Pretty please. Can we have some verse? So like as in? Verso? Do you mean verso? No, I think they mean a verse. Like something like a wonderful springtime day just like you there we are that kind of thing oh like a verse a verse, a verse. like what they asked for <laughs> and i put them for words These in their little mouth dies <laughs> here. i think you mean verso i think you mean verso actually they will cut you little designs <laughs> to go on the top here so if you're wondering what these two are they extend your design on the sides of your bag oops as I drop it on the floor. Should I get it? No, it's all right. It's fine. So my decoration now, I've got some little panels. So we've got dies on here. Let me just find them. We've got, this is a Verso die. 
it's a bivert so you can cut straight into the the back in there on the handle and have a pretty effect or you can just cut out the shape using this die which is what I've done and then pop the pattern inside it so there is oh, the beautiful, beautiful pattern so I cut a plain one for the back and then the pattern die as well so I'm just going to glue these together and I've done four of these for the bag so it brings it very much into the art, art deco era I, I think I love like the right angles and stuff of the it's nice of, isn't it? it's quite a masculine kind of bag it in, could in be. a way as well you know if you took that flower off and, you, and you used a plain paper for that and you put like a sports you know it could be like a shopping bag or something like that or yeah it could. It's, it's just a yeah a nice gives you room to grab it on the thing you know I that's know. right i think it might be my favorite bag I know because it's big. very Oof, even though it's there. very pretty it's also very angular yeah i like that back and stuff there really really are. cool um yeah raquel we can she is your comments raquel by the way we, we can see you have we got any Hope on you're YouTube, okay, Dan? probably <laughs> so there's the, the little handle yeah. Thanks, Owen. I emailed at 12.30. I've still not received craft kit. Pamela, um, if you're based in the UK um, and you have still received your craft kit, should uh, I try now? you should have, basically. So um, if you drop us an email, support at tonicstudios.com. We'll see if we can find out where your kit is. If we can't, we'll get a replacement because we keep a few back for that kind of event. Um, and yeah, depending on where you are, I know um, Shona and Sharon, and Sharon in. Um, well, yeah, say so people who are further afield, uh, it may take a little longer, but you know if it's longer than your usual time that you wait for your kit, then you know, let us know. Um, Raquel, Dan's man's YouTube, he's rubbish. You better. Be <laughs> I know, I am rubbish. <laughs> self admitting on that. One. I uh, uh, you, YouTube, they they know how it is. There's loads of people on YouTube as well. They they, they 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 kind of feed. They they comment themselves. You know, they keep they look themselves. After themselves they, they, <laughs> they read the, their own comments out. <laughs> <laughs> out loud. You, anyway, you, I'll, I'll you have a more stand, I'll, I'll a read some. I feel a standoff approach to them. Yeah, nurture them. Nurture them there. I feel this. Sorry, I'll read some now. So you got uh, Julie. So loads of these people saying hi. I'll just read that. So it's Julie, Sylvia, Patricia, Christine, uh, Victoria, Amanda, Taylor, Sam, Create and Design, um, Sue Hare, Mercedes Campbell, Heidi Varden. Sylvia Costello, da, 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 read the paper, yeah, paints and glitters. They've all got individual messages, but they're all there. Though, anyway. I'll try and read some of these messages now. It's a lot to talk about the when we went. Um, yeah. <laughs> and we lost signal for a bit. Um, Taylor saying that this is, uh, she's on a vacation this week, and it's the second live show she's been able to watch live. Oh, oh that's lovely. That's good. Uh, da, da, da. So lots of people saying from hello from Oklahoma, which is quite a nice little place there. Uh, watching from Florida, loads of places in the US. The, a lot of people in the US like to hang out on YouTube, don't they? Yeah. It's, yeah. Their, it's their place of, it's it their is. hangout of choice. Uh, Heidi asking, what date does the number nine ship? Uh, so, number nine kit, uh, if you haven't purchased the kits before, it's kind of like reserving slash pre ordering your kit. So, um, we'll be sending out the kits in the first week of June. No, May. 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 So, May, so the first working May. day of. Of the that of, of the month, that's when we can send it out. So, providing it's you know it's a Monday, basically the first Monday of that of that week or whatever, we'll we'll send it out for you. Providing it's on a bank holiday. So yeah, so it's um, so if you're in the US then as well, it'll probably be the Friday. I think it is. It's the first for first of May. Um, so yeah, probably sent out then. Uh, so you should get it a few days after that then, basically in the yeah. US. Hopefully that answers your questions. There we are. So I've used one of the tags. You've got a couple of sets of tags to go with this bag. You've got some, ooh. I know, I thought I was going to ping them all oh, up there. The other one I haven't shown you either, but you may wonder, everything's sticking to this now. You may wonder what this is for. This is your handle, but it does a deboss line into the handle. So it gives you a decorative pattern. So that's another cute one to use. We've got some, what I call the arched window dies. Yeah, pretty. <laughs> they remind me of play school <laughs> for those in the UK. 
Uh, we've also got a with love. Um, this little tag says for you, and there's also a square one for you. So none of these are verso. They all cut everything out. And they're very, very fine. So it's a beautiful, delicate design. Um, Raquel, what I'll do is I'll get the measurements, right, and we'll put it on the website. That's a good, that's a good call on that, because when we've had 3D projects, there hasn't been the details on there. I know we put in how many dies are on the, the letter, now, thanks to Sheila's mention. I uh, will put that on the website for you too. Um, should be able to do that. We'll sort that. It should be on by tomorrow morning uh, to sort that out. Yeah, um, Pamela, I'm only up the, the, the road in Kempton Hill. And Pamela, if it doesn't arrive with you tomorrow, I'll take it around myself, all right? I'll, I'll just, just send me your address and I'll, <laughs> I'll knock on the door. And, and we'll, I'll go and take it around. That is, if it's came to Hill, I don't know how that's not gone. I know, there. it's mad. <laughs> it's it's crazy. probably gone via somewhere to Kenfig Hill. Yeah. It's probably gone to the Cardiff Depot back via Land's End. Exactly. John O'Groats and then back round. <laughs> but, um, Again, I think this, this little tag is very, very masculine in his shape. So he's got your little, your hole to put your ribbon through. But I just that think... That is so good. That's I can see that on a golf bag. I don't know why. I could say because because of that little that little tag, you can do loads of cool little tag exactly. messages on the back with a foam pad. It looks awesome. Little bit of Love depth. Oh, looking forward. There we go. Yeah, really nice. There on that paper, go. it looks brilliant as well. It's lovely, stuff, it? Yeah. I love of speciality papers. So I've got a little bit of ribbon just to match the colours. And I'm going to tie this around, just around the handle. And what I've done is put it one way, then the other way. There we are. Tie it in a little knot, or a, a one-sided knot, should I say. And then a little bow. And that then is our, our little bag done. So there we are. There's the, oh, I know what I haven't put on. Our little sequins. Ooh. This is going to last you for ages and ages. Because if you see the amount that is just stuck on the lid. Yeah. The last time we had these, we had a small um, pot of them. This time we've gone for a full size pot. So they're going to go on and on and on forever. So I've just put a little bit of our deluxe adhesive glue and I'm just dropping the little sequins on top. These sequins have got holes in them, so if you're a sewist or a stitcher, then you could be using these in your sewing as well. And again, they'll go on and on and on for ages. Mm. You know, oh you can yeah, see there is loads in there. Your mother would love these. She'd be stitching these on everything. <laughs> Thought my mum go mad for these. Yeah. She would. She would. One of them will find it. Wait, don't <laughs> <laughs> my mum. She'll do stuff. She'll say stuff like that. She'll go like, you know, one of the perks of, you know, working a tonic is there's often bits we've used on live which I can yeah. give to my mum. But she's like, I was going to order these on on the chander away to, today. I'm like, mum. Uh, let, leave it to me. Right? I'll, I'll see if I can <laughs> see what I can do. I can sort at, at worst, I can get it like cost price from the office. <laughs> you know, like don't. Um, so it's like, yeah, she's like that because we we have you know when we finish a show like this, obviously we can't send out the bits we've used before. Yeah. So I'll. Um, Nobody wants to use bits, do they? No, no, no. So I, I, I but she, yeah, she's massive. Like so, and she'd love to put these on costumes and bits. And I'm pieces. sure she would. Like I'm that. sure she would. Okay. Cushions and things like that. Yeah, cushions. A lot of lot of sequins on cushions at the moment. But these remind me of Mother of Pearl. Don't know whether you can catch them in the light there. Mm. Or the, the natural seashell ones. That's what these remind me of. And I just think they're so pretty. Really are pretty. I've actually managed two projects that pretty much look the same. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Bang on. <laughs> And that's the beauty of making a 3D project with these. Yeah. Because each one is going to look the same. So if you're making them for a function, um, I mean, looking at these, these would be lovely little favours for a golden wedding. 
Yeah, that would be lovely. From that. You could put your cake in them from a golden wedding party. Um, you know, and wedding, they would yeah. be just superb. I think we're going to see people, you know, customize them, in the, you know, expand them, do yeah. things. We, you know, we've, like I've said, you know, just touch a surface with them. Exactly. As we've had them designed and made, and they've only just be arrived, you yeah. know, in the, in the last well, week maybe. So it's like, yeah, you, you'll we'll figure out new ways to expand them and change them. But this is just, you know, a, a taste of, of what is happening. Tip of the uh, iceberg, top of the deco bag. That's right. Um, That's beautiful, right. Ali. <laughs> I say some. <laughs> I say some nonsense on this show, don't I? Ah, I say some nonsense. That is not like you. Well, that's not like me to say some or bad pun or something like that. Um, yeah, loads and loads and loads of loads of lovely comment, loving it. Um, she says the plastic sheet that the Tonic Craft Kit dies are stored in is smaller than the standard cutting plate for Big Shot. Yeah, definitely. If there's anything, you know, feedback always. You know, yeah, with these the kit, are definitely fit a Big Shot. Like we, you know, we try and improve it month on month, and I hope that you found that as as we've progressed, you know, since the very first kit. If there are things like that with the dimensions on the website which you'd like to see you think would be useful let us know because then we can me and dan will just go and mm -hmm. add them on there and, and do it like we did sheila recommended putting the number of dies on the on the letter and that's on there now other bits like that let us know let, let us know what you'd like to see yeah. and we because can do it as, as long as it's within our yeah. thing to do it some of the tech stuff that's out of our control and we can't do but things like inspiration and the whole everything else we do for you around mm -hmm. that that's okay, you know, we can one we'll work so it out. Some of that stuff is like an easy change for us to do and if it makes a difference for you, then we might as well do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <exactly. laughs> you know, so. But just tell us, because otherwise if we don't know, we can't, we can't do yeah. it. This is just under five inches wide and it is just under eight and a quarter inches in length. I'm not sure the length of the plates on a kettle bag. I know width-wise that will fit into a kettle bag, but I got a feeling the plates a six inches could be wrong but it would definitely fit a big shot there we go so the, the, the type of the type of sizes that you want you're not looking for exact of every die but you're looking for the, the for, the, for the, the biggest, the biggest. As, as it would be okay yeah and right. that's your biggest in this set yeah that's good um yeah Catherine hopefully you're okay as well hope you do, you're doing really well Catherine and I I know that hope you're yeah, take care, Catherine. Some time and Aisha in. as well. And Aisha, yeah, I both, both know you're having a tough time. I know. Hope you, you can watch. I know Aisha says she's not commenting, and she's, yeah, she's busy today. But uh, yeah, hope everything's okay and, and the day goes okay. Um, if I made the bag design in black design, could be coloured like stained glass. It Ooh, could. It could be. Yeah. It could. Cool. You could put. Um, you could cut the design because again, it's a versatile design, which means there's no outer edge unless you use the outer edge with it. So you could cut that pattern into the front of the bag and back it with acetate. And you could colour that then. It would be a beautiful stained glass effect. Yeah, it would be really cool. Yeah, see, see what you come up with, you know. That's the, so the best times in the month now on the group are when people are starting to receive their kits and we're seeing all the, the brand it's new stuff. Yeah, I, lo I love it, you know. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed everyone. What time are we done? It is two minutes to five. Oh, oh we're doing pretty right good today. On time. Then. Coat on. <laughs> Straight out there. <laughs> we, we always like, when we come up, it's like, do, 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 do. time do. to go. Yeah, time to go. So we, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Awesome. Have an awesome evening. Yep. Uh, yeah, have a lovely evening, everyone. We're back tomorrow for the daily. I think it'll just be me or I'll, I'll go up and see Ali in the room and we'll do something uh, on the daily. And then Friday, we're back with Showtonic Showcase. I said on the daily earlier today, we didn't create a group that started this week only because we've got to catch up from last week so yeah. once we're fully caught up we can start afresh then the following week and we'll, we'll go but uh, and then we'll start again and we won't uh, we won't miss anyone out there so yeah that's it from from all of us today yep now a wonderful evening as ali said and uh, we'll see you soon and join paula at 6 p.m today for the brand new launch of the confetti oh, yes. see you soon everyone bye. these will be on there as well yeah. they're there ideas Get them. for these <laughs> extras Have a see look. you soon bye, bye everyone bye.